Hello, and welcome everyone to this How to Use File Groups and Document video. This feature applies to both CCH Access Document and CCH Pro System FX Document. In under four minutes, you are going to learn how to use file groups, including creating the group and adding and removing files from the group. File groups are accessed from the File Groups tab in Document Central. File groups are used to group similar files together. For instance, if you work on a large group of related clients, you can create a file group to quickly and easily access tax returns or other files for all of the related clients. File groups are either private, which only you can see, or shared which everyone in the firm can see. Another benefit to creating file groups is that all the files can be either checked out or locked by right-clicking on the group. This is beneficial when working away from the office or away from an internet connection and you need to check out all the files related to a project that you might be working on. To create a file group, click in the file group name field in the same row as the plus sign. Add the name, a description if desired, and choose if the file group should either be shared or private. This can be changed later if needed. Hit tab to add the group to the list. Now that the group is added, we can begin adding files to it. Select the applicable client from the left-hand navigation pane and right click the file. Choose Add Remove in File Groups. Select the group from the list of available groups and use the right facing arrow to add the group. You can create a new group from here on the fly if the group was not previously created from the File Groups tab. Save that file group and continue to select the next client and continue to add files to that same group. Files from the same client can be added to a group or even across multiple clients. Once the files are added, they are still included in the file list for that particular client, but now they are also grouped together and can be seen from the File Groups tab. To remove a file from the group, choose Remove from File Group, and now use the left facing arrow. You can also right click on a file from that tab and access the add, remove, and file groups from the right click menu as well. Once all files are removed from the group, I could delete the group entirely if needed by using the delete file group button. And that is how you use file groups. Thank you for watching this video. For additional document training resources, click the link below to visit our webpage.